And the Bible says, resist him steadfastly and will fear from him. So you have authority. You have what I call divine resistance. Come right here. So don't tell me, you know, you know, Papas or somebody born, you know the devil. Then why they don't say it? Investment of God was dead. The devil is wearing like the wounded man, looking for who they might be now. They must not say, do what? Resist him. Stand fast him. Continually. Until he flees from you. I said the other time, until a man and a woman overcome sin, you will not overcome sin. Every great man and woman you see today are overcomers of one barrier or the other that the devil has confronted their life. So believers are champions. Believers are called conquerors. So you have to conquer your war to manifest okay, the appointment of God upon your life. I have a prepared word without this slide, and then we we'll come back to this song and we are done. Are we here? If I don't know how you have felt before Monday and before today, but one thing I know is that something is going to happen to you. This afternoon, as I to talk, I said, I don't want to do anything in church today. Go down and sit down. Listen to the one of one of the God must confess before anything you do. And I want to do, please beg you, if there's anything you can do for me, and do for this church, just be a believer. And once you become a believer, we can get there very fast. Are we here? Lift up your right hand before you and say, Lord, I'm a believer. Bless me with the authority of my identity and my sonship in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You may be seated. Now, I want to give you five keys of believers' authority. Number one, the law of God. Number one is what? John 3 16. I'm going to be very fast. John. The law of God. Do I have a witness in the house? Now I am going to read it the way it's presented in the Bible. John chapter 3. John chapter 3. If you are there, let us go. 16. Are you there? For God so loved the world. Now I like to understand the representation here that God so loved the world. Thoughts about the world. The world is in a unity with God. And by law of convention, God was not supposed to love the world. But there was only one reason why God loved the world. Do you know that reason? He created the world. Now, come with me. God cannot hate what God created. With all you see in the world today, with all the trouble you see around you today, the concern of God is to reclaim the world from the world. The pride to reclaim the world was too hard for God. Are we here? It was too hard. So, men and women who are not willing to pay the price cannot be believers. If you know the price God pay for your salvation, if you know what it cost God to save you for the past and the desire for the living concerning your life, you will be twice. Believers' authority begins with those who are The world court, you know they are charged. Before they're 
family, it doesn't matter who is there. What is important is who are you. It's not about who is in God. It's about who is in God. Because the Bible says, if you read the Bible very well, and unto us a child is born. Unto us the born child is given. And the Bible says the first thing. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. Don't have it here. The last government is God's government. Are we here? Every government, no matter how strong they appear today, will inspire. The government of Buhari in Nigeria will inspire. There was a time there was a government of J.J. Rollins in Ghana. He died yesterday. Are we here? And the, the Lord used him to redeem that. He was a brave man. He still will not forget him. But yesterday, J.J. Rollins passed on. To all the exploit, all the brevity, that's it. We can only talk about it in memory and legacy. Are we here? So, no matter anything anybody wants to do, you can't be so strong. You can't be stronger than the other way. Are we here? You can't be stronger than anything. But I tell you that every time I change on my decisions and my calculation, I know that the last government shall be lost government. And so the church, no matter how we die, no matter what happens to us, we will continue to promote and project the government of God. And the government of God, they are very old time today. The Bible says you see. Are we here? And in essence, you don't have to die, you see. And when you wake up, you wake up, when God has done with the world, everyone will be judged. Everywhere will be visited. And so, so when you are making this world your security, and you are making your skin untouchable, you are making your life and your emotions untouchable, you are not catching the new revelation of the world. Come on, I'm here. Why is God not the world? God not the world because God is bigger. Okay? But the world of politics put together. Are we here? Law is an expression of dominion. You don't love things because they are in a meeting, in a meeting with you. You don't love things because they are better in agreement with you. You love things because there's a nature in you that says, even if they don't deserve my love, give them my love. Does the world deserve us love? Praise God. What's the desire? That's why you have to know that Christianity is not bread and water. Christianity is a call. It's a high call to live a high life that becomes a mystery in the eyes of men, in the eyes of women. So sometimes they call me fool. Sometimes they call you men because of this, the mystery behind your identity. Now go back to that scripture and let us see what that is. I don't have more time. I will have dealt with it more. Then let's see what will happen on Sunday. But God so won the war. Remember that this war is yes, so war. Talks about unconditional love. When you condition your law, you are not in the law of God. God's law is not conditional. How much law? The soul show to them. Are we here? How much soul? It was because of David that Jonathan died. Jonathan, the son of David, loved God. Are we here? Now, David knew, and David knew very well, very, very well. That I mean, I saw you, I saw you very well that David will become a king. And because he knew what David will become, he hated David. But if you check the heart of David, did David actually love Saul or hate Saul? If he didn't love Saul, he had opportunities to have killed Saul. So what did David do? 
David simply left David, left Saul in the hand of God. Are we here? And I, I, I want you to understand that when David lived in that season, he lived in the love of God. He lived in the love of God. And because of the love of God, God handled the barriers before him. Lord, as beautiful as you know him, Lord can handle every barrier before him. Lord can handle every issue before you. Even if enemy does not love you, and people around you do not love you, never you sacrifice the love of God in your heart because it's your heart. It's your nature. Don't sacrifice it for anything. Stay in the love of God. Live as a fool and allow God to be God. Are we here? But God so loved the world, what did he do? That he gave his only begotten son. True love is given. True love is not. It's not showing back what the object you want to love is about. True love is taking in God to handle the world. So God was in love and was handling the world. And through his concern and outreach, we saw that the world was shifted back to God. The God has put the world the way the world deserves to be treated, the way that we present it today, because it would have breathed from heaven. Are we here? And the world would have been no more like Sodom and Gomorrah. Now the Bible says here that whosoever believeth in him. The essence of God's word is to lay a foundation to recover you. To recover you. And the word that believed in him is who so ever accept God's law. The Bible says God will preserve him. The coming is more like multiplying for the past three days. Okay, across the world. Some of them are even saying. Maybe America will be the way we have a national lockdown. Okay? But something says to me, every believer lives in the authority of God if they understand who they are. Are we here? When you drink the water, that water will become a person. I don't know what you mean. Yes, when you move upon the ground, the Bible says, everyone that the soul of the feet will turn the ball. There the Lord has given you for an inheritance. The kind you match on cannot have you. Are we here? Believers' authority has no respect for whatever the devil wants to do. Listen to me. A God so long to war that he gave a redemption, a solution. Jesus came as a solution to recover the world from the war. And the world has it again. So whosoever we believe for the love of God, Jesus is this love of God. Whosoever that we believe in this love of God will be saved. Are we here? And the Bible says, shall not perish. They have what? Thomas never has to have. What does that mean? That the good life here. Good life after you. Sometimes without Jesus, you can live good life here. With the pregnancy. Once you transit, in fact, somebody said, Go and carry you when you die. Everyone that dies sees two kind of people. When you die without Christ, you will see people that look like angels when you put on black. You will know. You can even give a testimony in the airport, but you put on black. That black reveals where you're going. When they carry your soul on black, you're going to hell. Straight. Have you had it before? When Jesus died, and he came to the tomb, and there was a man by 
are two, what of you do now? Are you sure? What of you do now? And he says, what are you looking for? He said, we seek for Jesus Christ from Africa, who was laid down here, and they are now. He says, it's not here. It's risen. They came as a group of white people. Okay? They pulled the grave and they lifted up Jesus and Jesus. But Jesus was not to go to heaven that day. Are we here? Jesus was to appear for 40 days after that appearance. And he said, now, he saw his way from Galilee. Find your way from Galilee. Then he will appear to the disciples. Who announces? Angel or wine. When you see a man dying, and he was able to see a vision and say, the angel are coming and are putting on wine, that man is going straight to hell. Because angels cannot serve hell. It is angels of death that cloth from black to serve the need of hell. That the one that have to go to hell, the other ones go to hell. So if you die, Without Jesus, you would have enjoyed this world where you are. You would have done everything you want to do. But I tell you, you will miss it. And the truth is that you don't know where you will die. The old men die. The young men die. Children die. But they you die at the very right old, old age. Are we here? Amen. Amen. Are we here? So, the reason why Jesus came is not for him not to die. All of us will die one day, one time. But that we should die well and make heaven. So, we will allow the world to transit with your identity here. Though you have sat up and not your best, you might miss it. And that will be the worst magic. Hell of the church. After all the good that you will not bring. After all the battle, you will not go. You see this thing there, you have never lived it. If you don't want to leave him, leave the church. Are we here? Everyone is like, take your journey, go to Island Avenue. Go to Night Walk there now. Okay? That's what they dance you want to dance. You can even dance with your head and your leg on. So enjoy the maximum enjoyment. But please leave us alone in the church. We all want to stay in the love of God. So you have, you have to be born again. You have to be recreated. You have to return back to the love of God. So that you can live well here and continue to live well after him. He said, For oh, whosoever believeth in him shall not perish. That perish is not talking about shall not die. Because of time. Look, okay. Sorry, before I interpret it, I want to come to verse 17. In line with Pastor Haley's message, he said, For God sent not the Son into the world to complete the world. Are we here? What is in this? But that the world through him might be saved. That the world through him might be saved. During the group producer conference, we were told that you don't need to expect this to be the way you want it. Are we here? Don't ask the son, why am I always being disappointed? Why are people always creating problems for me? God will see what happens to you at the time. But sometimes, when you are able to go to the temple and look, there's something you do now that can make me lose my peace. The important thing about you is to hold your peace. Because are we here? If there's anything you don't have to lose your peace, don't let the devil come to steal it. He has come not to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. And that 
ask you that that new level to the next question. How much are you making? How much effort are you making to set the world around you? The only way you can act and set the world is to be the light. If we can show the light, if we can set the light, we can change so many things. Praise God. I want to repeat you today that everything against you will be turned around for you. I want to remind you today that the power of God for your life shall no longer be circumvented. God will take you to a high of influence where whatsoever I will have for your destiny shall be at your lives. In the name of Jesus Christ. I will be here. Let me give you the next one. New power. Someone say new power. Now, Matthew 28 and verse 18. If you're there, the Bible says, When Jesus was resurrected from the dead, there's something to be. What when he resurrected from the dead, 28, 18, what do you see? And Jesus came and spoke unto them, saying, Everyone shout. All power. All power. Come on, shout it aloud. Are you afraid of powers? Are we diminished by powers? Whatever the divisions are, witchcraft, cultism, wickedness, marrying. The Bible says when Jesus was resurrected, we are going to see what the Lord said. I'm going to show you what happened when he came out of the grave. Are we here? He said, All power in heaven and on earth. And that is Philippians 2, verse 9 and 11. All power. The Bible says, and God insulted him again in the name, as I go with him, that by the name of Jesus, every nation shall bow. Believers' authority is in the name of Jesus. All power was placed in the name of Jesus. And when you believe in Jesus, you become an extension of Jesus. You receive all power. Someone say, all power. And all power has been given to you as a key to conquer all powers. I don't know the power that has obtained and confronted you. But after this night, the power that, I, that have been set up to stop your joy, to stop your life, shall be smashed to pieces. Number. Number four. Okay. We have set the business together. So number one now, number three. Faith in the name. Someone say faith in the name. Faith in the name. Now, come with me to come with me to John chapter three. John chapter three. If they come from there. Verse 36. He that believeth on the Son had everlasting life, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life. But the rod of God abided in him. God to myself, that's the one. He that cometh from above is what? Above all. He that is of the earth is empty, and speaketh of the earth. He that cometh from above is above all. Now, faith in the name of Jesus places you above every fear around you. Now, remember that it is not they were not born naturally, they were born of the Spirit. And if you are born of Jesus, you are born of the Spirit. And Jesus is from above. So when you are born of Jesus, you are from above. Are we here? Yes, the Dr. Kai is not that we are here. And the Bible says the wind blows where the wind is there. You don't know where the wind is coming, neither will you know where the wind is going. So you become invisible to your enemies. So when you place faith in the name of Jesus, you will become conscious of your liberty and authority in Christ to conquer your world. Now, number four, manifestation. Someone say manifestation. Manifestation. And here we can see here, Acts chapter 3, we explained in this article, in Acts chapter 3, that last one was not. 
um, the other ones you can handle this time. Abs of the brain. Let me read it for verse 6. The Peter said, Silver and gold have I not, but such as I have, give I thee. Is it in your Bible? This man came to Jesus and said, Give me money. And he came to Peter and John and said to them, Please help me. I need help. One day I travel to America, my friend, and we will be watching this this year. And then we met one white man with a black car. And he lifted it up. And he said, Help me, I'm a black car. My friend laughed. I brought up his food. I will protect this mountain man. Baker in America. <laughs> so I really asked him. And okay, the first one he did, I didn't know. So when they snapped it, he put it on Facebook. They tell me this about the call from Texas. I know you are with your friend. I just saw that he wrote it an American beggar. But they will say it to be now. Because they will track him. Are we here? Well, you go something. You must be a beggar. Can they be beggar in America? Praise the Lord. If there was a beggar in Jerusalem, they can be beggar anywhere in the world. Come on, we get. This guy said, Can they be a problem in America? Just know, you will know that some people have no house. They, they, they see under some pants. So we will go to the bank and say, For this, no one. Can you pay a house for one thousand dollars a month? How much do you work? So there are problems everywhere. So this man was in Jerusalem. And he was in the, te- in the temple in Jerusalem. And in Jerusalem for people, so you can be in church and have money. Are we here? So when he saw Peter and John, they had no. This men dress well. They are coming like this. They were coming. I said, please help me. Please help me. They have to say this out to know. Obviously, they have no money. You know, when people don't do this, they have been there for a long time. They have not gone to preaching. There have been no signs. So they have no money. And honestly, they have no money. And Peter said, silver and gold, you are asking for. I don't have. But what I have, I give unto you. Do you know that the lie and the covenant, you must have power before you can have that. The best thing God gives to everybody come is not money. That's why I say, seek ye first what? The kingdom of God. And the righteousness. And then money will be added. We went to the church because they share money in church, because you can get money in church, you are going to miss God. If you come to church for material kind of motivation, you will miss God and you will not endure. You will change church very soon. But when you meet Jesus on the church, no matter how you come to that church, your story will be different. I said to, I said to you today, before this world is over, your case will be different. I conclude. The Peter says, Silver and gold am I not? It's good to say the truth. The such as I have, give I thee. Such as I have, give I thee. What does they have? Someone shot in me. I went down for you this time. You have the name. What do you have? It's not important if there's some little change in your pocket. But it's more important if there's a name in your name. And he said, that I, he said, but what I do have, that I give to you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk, get up, and walk. And the Lord said, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk. That's very authoritative. I said, walk. So I know you can't walk before today. Was the man asking for him 
So give him money and believe him. See what is more expensive. Because when you are here, you can have capacity to go and walk and bring money. Now, how come that the man that will not give money can change the condition of the man? Now, your authority is not tied to your outward positions. Your authority is tied to your identity. And your identity is, is, is revealed in two things. Authority and power. And this authority and power is called a Zosia and Dumas. Can I hear you say? Let me hear you say. Zosia. So Peter and John were carrying a Zosia and carrying Dunamis supernatural wealth, supernatural power that cannot be measured by material values. You are bigger than everything around you. You have authority to live well. You have authority to conquer this world and make heaven. You have authority to create your world and have good money. You have authority to lead the sick and take people's life. That is what our church will be pursuing in the new system. We call it deliverance authority. The Bible says immediately the man was healed. And the day we went for that, and the Bible said that said the Lama was healed. The church gave my father. You are more family than going to church when you begin to manifest your thoughts. And the member one day I was in this church before my daughter died, and I called him, I got up, I saw that he went to find the one lamb, and he came back to the city. And I called him very early in the morning. I said, Where are you? He told me. I said, I don't like to give my hand today. You are stopping a lot. He said, I'm just going to push you right now. You want to take a lot. I said, allow them to take it out. Because they want to use it for only seven weeks. They said, I'm a man. And my father said, I will not be willing to take a short day. Later, the man of God told me, Why do you think that God showed you some things? The apostle. Yes. An apostle. You know what I mean? And this. And I asked some of you, do we look like black people? <laughs> we don't we can see more than this. And we get because we have revelational insight into the working populace of God. We can even see what visionaries can do. Come on, we did. What did I know that? It's very basic that was only vision. The Bible says that everything shall die. Okay? So, when you are sick, you don't need a vision to see the outcome. And I also know that every soul will prosper. Are we here? Those are the principles. Before you begin to look for magic and begin to go to places you cannot go. Balance your life on the word of God and the principles of God. When you know the principles, you open the conditions. Are we here? Stop waiting for people to tell you they don't know. Forgive. Let's go. You know by yourself that that's the commandment of God in your life. So when you live by the principle, you overcome your problems. Can you bow down?
on your own. I don't know where you missed him. I don't know where I missed him. But I don't say, merciful God, I'm the most aware of you. Hear what I say? Go in my knees and plead God's mercy. And please give back your life to Him. For God so loved the world. To remain in your Lord. Help my weaknesses. Help my prayerlessness. Help my sinful nature. Lord, I come to you. Help me in the areas of life where I have missed you. When the Bible said that Jesus did not come to condemn me, when Jesus has come, that I will live and that I will be saved. I am in the world, but I am not part of the world. Lord Jesus, the world and that me cannot overcome me. You are in me. You are my God. You are my life. You are my creator. You are my share. You are my strength. I will turn your back into my life. In John chapter 1, verse 12, he also said, We miss that. That's from our Father. We must believe. And the Bible says, To take that belief, you get the power. You get the power to become. Father, you did not send me to live my life in sin. You sent me to live my life in your power. I am a believer. Give me power to live for God in righteousness. To live for God in the very way that you deserve my life. And the Bible says, Peter manifested in power. Peter manifested in power. He knew that he was carrying Jesus. Oh Lord, today, wherever I go, whatever I do, in my day and in my life, repeat yourself alive. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Do yourself alive. Do yourself alive. Repeat yourself alive. Am I alive? Repeat yourself alive. Am I married? Repeat yourself alive. Am I career? Repeat yourself alive. Am I sister? Yes, yeah. 
If God did not make the church authority, God will not make this promise. This signs shall prove them that they use. And the Bible said, they shall lay their hand upon the sick, and the sick shall come. And the Bible said, if they eat anything deadly, it shall not harm them. And the Bible said, and they shall cast out demons. The Lord showed me a vision. I asked for God here. The Lord showed me a vision. And I saw an oil dropping on the hand of someone. And the Lord said, I have healed the hand. Amen. So that what he said to God, he said to God, there are so many hands that are supposed to be a blessing here that have been defied, that have been bewitched. But as you regain your authority to mind, you are going to return with hands. Yeah. Every one of us in this meeting are under this function. Straight from your hand was the altar. Receive the authority of Jesus in your life, in the name of Jesus' life. Receive the word of Jesus. Open your heart in the name of Jesus. Whatsoever has died in your heart, died in your spirit, come on the heart in the name of Jesus. And so you are a king to be revived. You are a king to be revived. You are a king to be revived. It 
this time for you to manifest the authority of Jesus on your life, on your body. Your heart is at the your heart is renewed. Go forth and show peace. The authority of Jesus in your life. In Jesus' mighty name. Now please point towards the altar. This program has come to an end today. May your authority be used today. Whatsoever you buy from the day shall be bound. Whatsoever you lose from the day shall be loose. For today's signs and wonders shall follow you. God shall be open to you. God shall prosper your life. God shall prosper your house. And the power of Jesus who are carrying this heart shall make place for you on earth. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. Thank you.